I'm Nicole Hacko with Royal LePage Top Producers. And for our local business of the week, I have Rochelle with Solstice Travel. So Rochelle, tell me, uh, why did you become a travel consultant? So I love to travel. It's my passion. And um, when I was thinking about uh, launching my business I really thought long and hard about what I was passionate about and what I could share with people and to me it really came down to following my heart and knowing that I had so much to offer to people when it comes to um, travel and understanding the industry okay so I think like the general perception right mm -hmm. now is almost that you don't need a travel agent because everything's all online you can find everything yourself mm -hmm. so I know that's not true, so can you tell everybody why? Sure, so I think that we had a really big swing a few years back where everyone suddenly thought, oh, I can book with a big booking uh, engine online. Um, and we're starting to see things come back in the other direction. More and more people are recognizing that a travel agent offers a level of service that you're just not mm -hmm. going to get on a booking engine. If you book with some giant machine, if something happens, if you make a mistake on your booking, if you um, have an emergency and need to make a change, if you get stuck somewhere because of a hurricane, heaven forbid, um, your a travel agent can have your back. And that's just something that they're, you're not going to experience if you've booked with a third party. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that you smiled at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, if you guys didn't catch that little smile with the making a mistake, I um, tried to do my own booking. Uh, I made a mistake. I was accidentally traveling somewhere like six months earlier than I was supposed to or something like that. And um, I, Rochelle got the panicked phone call to fix that for me. So um, I guess it, I'm going to tell them a bit about when how I first met you. Sure. So. For me, I, I was wanting to plan a surprise trip for my husband and I posted in our River Park South and Love In It Facebook group looking for somebody to help me. Uh, and so, you know, I got a whole bunch of recommendations and I reached out to, I think like four or five of them and a whole bunch of them didn't follow up. They didn't answer their emails or their messages. And Rochelle was the only one that followed up with me and asked me for coffee. I think it was 11 o'clock at night when we first yeah. started chatting yeah. <laughs> And uh, we met for coffee. I told you I wanted to go to Vegas mm -hmm. and everything I wanted to do. And you sat there and looked at me and you said, Hawaii. And I was like, I can't afford Hawaii. I can't do this. <laughs> and, and then you sent me quotes like shortly after. And I was like, I'm going to Hawaii. I'm doing this. Um, so that was my kind of like whole experience with you and kind of how I, why I understand the huge value that you have, the, the things you've helped for like me, my friends, you know, booking vacations that they never thought that they could have. Um, and I know you focus a lot on like different like niche markets and Absolutely. things like that as well. So, yeah. so part of part of being an agent is um, getting to know your clients, right? And getting to understand what they're really looking for, getting to understand um, maybe someone thinks they can only go to Vegas, but they can actually really go to the Maldives, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes people think things are out of, um, out of their reach. So that's part of what I do. Um, I also have, yeah, I've created some niche markets that I really um, am developing. So family travel, because I've got a family, I've got mm -hmm. young kids, and so that's just part of, um, you know, my life and my lifestyle and creating trips for people that aren't just all inclusive. Those are fantastic with the kids, but there's so many other things to do. Um, I'm also working a lot on women's travel, on wellness and yoga journeys, um, wine and food experiences, um, and active walking tours, treks. So I can, I've got clients going to, you know, Machu Picchu and Kilimanjaro and Morocco and um, all sorts of really cool places mm -hmm. um, that are not necessarily at the top of mind. Those also aren't necessarily trips that you want to just book by yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Like, do you want to just take a risk and go with anybody to Kilimanjaro? Or would you like a professional who knows um, all of the ins and outs of the tourism industry to be able yeah. to get that booked for you? So those are some, um, some things that are important for me. Okay, and what are some other maybe fun facts or tips that you would like uh, River Park South to know all about you? Sure, so um, I'm local, I'm francophone, so I can work with my clients in both English and French. I'm happy to do that. Um, 
and I also really like to um, meet people where they like, where they're comfortable. So with you, I, you know, we met for coffee. Mm -hmm. With other clients, I have gone to their home after they put their kids to bed. Um, you know, we can sit and, and discuss the trip and plan it out that way. Other folks like to just do it all, you know, via email and that's mm -hmm. okay too. Um, and I've got also clients who have um, some mobility issues. I can go to their home as well with for them. And um, it just, I like to work really specifically with people. I'm not really into just like a canned product. Mm -hmm. um, I want to customize things for people. Okay, perfect. Okay, so if you guys want to book a vacation, um, if you want some ideas or anything like that, mm -hmm. um, Rochelle is awesome at bouncing ideas and coming up with some really cool things. So her contact information is right there on the screen for you or you can contact below. So that's our local business of the week. Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks, okay. Nicole. Bye-bye. <laughs>